Brought to you by Excel, makers of inexpensive and high quality Windows and Android tablets. Great gadgets for less. Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin. We are back at CES 2015 at the Synology booth and I, I saw this really neat little network attached storage device. Franklin is the technical product marketing person from, I hope I got your title right, close That's enough, good. right? That works. Um, and we want, just wanted to look at this. This is a uh, Synology NAS that supports uh, you know, SSDs and they all support these SSDs, but this is like a three and a half inch form factor. So. Why don't you talk to us about this? All right, so, hi, Roland. So uh, this is the DS414 Slim, and it's a, basically it's a two and a half inch base, uh, little private cloud or NAS, and it uh, you can use four two and a half inch bays. Of uh, you can install mechanical drives or SSDs. They just put in here, they screw on, and just slide them in here and get going. And I need to use two hands. Sure, <laughs> it's okay. This reminds me a lot of you know, the larger one, except it's in a smaller form factor, and this runs. Uh, all of the same software that is on the big, the big brothers and sisters to this one, right? Yeah. So the Synology DSM experience is exactly the same. So again, so the same DSM experience. So if you need to host your own private cloud, you want to do, uh, you want to do synchronized files between your laptops, your computers, your phone. You can use Cloud Station. This totally supports that. And of course, it does come with the two one gig Ethernet ports and a USB port. USB port. You want to attach a USB hard drive to have a backup of this. You most certainly do that. Two one gig Ethernet ports. That's great for link aggregation. But you can use SSDs or mechanical drives in here and the maximum storage capacity of this little guy is uh, eight terabytes and that's assuming you're using four two terabyte drives so uh, and we're getting there on, on the SSD side so yeah every year we're seeing every a little year bit we're gonna <laughs> see more SSDs I mean I know SSDs right now the one terabyte SSDs are now becoming pretty much very affordable nowadays now, I know a lot of people that watch my channel are looking for home theater solutions mm -hmm. for like a home theater server that they might be able to keep in the server room okay um, so this is really quiet you mentioned to me yeah. also so if you have like really low power drives, it'll be almost silent? It is practically silent. If you deploy pure SSDs, I mean, it does have a fan on the bottom, but typically when you're using SSDs, the fan will probably never turn on. If you use some low power drives, the fan spins uh, pretty much very slowly. So it's not that loud. So it's pretty quiet, it might it's be good for quiet. a home theater environment. It's very quiet. I mean, you can stick it in like right next to your living room if you really wanted to. But it's a really great little platform for a small embedded private cloud solution for multimeter streaming or for your home use right there. Yeah, I think this would really, for a lot of the home theater people, they'd like this because you don't have to put this hulking four or five bay drive on your right next to your TV. This That's is pretty right. small. So it's almost the size of some of the PCs you've been looking at. Yeah. So very cool. Franklin, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you, Lon. Yeah.